Jackson and I was at the Global Resource Use Workshop. And it would be impossible for me to summarize the excellent presentations by the four experts in any way that did them justice. So instead I'll focus on the discussions. So we largely talked about consumer attitudes and water resources. Regarding consumer attitudes, there was a general consensus that there's a positive trend, but policy is necessary in terms of informing the consumer more. And regarding water resources, well, there are many urgent problems at the moment. However, we should also look ahead in areas that there isn't a water scarcity problem at the moment, but there may be in the future, such as Switzerland, so that we avoid having the same problem that we currently have now with climate change and other resources. Hello, my name is Kate Nagash. I'm a student reporter and I was a participant of workshop number two. This was Dematerialization and Global Perspective. The first part was presented by Professor Dayan Zhu and the, merit, the main message was uh, were three questions uh, on resource productivity and circular economy in China, as well as presentation of three models of sustainable production and consumption in China. The second presentation was held by Barbara Schausberger and Fritz Hinderberger, and the main issue was the presentation of indicators and environmental categories. Then we have a summary, we have, we have a summary of um, why this, indication, this indicator set. The key open questions are eco wellbeing and CO2 emission indicators, and willingness of consumers to base their choice on the mentioned indicators.